This is Brandon Stubbs from TitleFight.com. So you go with Hugo, the Boston Tenor, ahead of his September 12th bout against Julian J. Rock Williams, live at the MGM Grand, a part of Fox Sports 2 card that will be kick off the one weekend. We discuss how this fight came about, his grade for his performances so far in the year 2013, and he also gives his fight prediction for the one, Mayweather versus Canelo. Well, all right. Well, it's just been recently announced that uh, you'll be fighting here on uh, September 12th at the MGM Grand. Uh, you're going to help kick off uh, the one weekend uh, against Julian J. Rock Williams. Now, how did this bout all come about? Um, you know, they had mentioned it to me before, and I always told my manager, you know, whoever you put in front of me, I'll fight. You know, no excuses. I want to become the best, still fighting the best, and only make me the best in the business. So... I told him, you line them up and I'll fight where we only fight. Um, and they had mentioned him a while back, but it was just kind of like going through opponents. Uh, my manager was picking him. And, um, you know, more recently, they, his name started coming up. And I go, you know what, let's make it happen. And Charles was like, let's do a couple more fights and we'll, we'll make it happen for something to count a little more on a bigger venue so people can watch an exciting fight. And we'll get build it up a little more. And so after this, this big pair had down in Cancun, um, they threw something out on Twitter and then Joel said, you know, nothing for sure yet. I haven't even gotten the wind of a, a fight. And so I enjoyed a couple extra days out in Cancun and, you know, Joel contacted me and he goes, you know what, they're offering a fight. Do you want me to have him? I know you're enjoying a mini vacation right now, but I want to bring up work. Just let me know if, if you're interested. You know, me being a board dog that I am and always trying to reach my goal, uh, I feel like I'm an overachiever. Um, I told him, yeah, you know what, let's make it happen. So his hands are butt. I told him, make it happen. Uh, I want to I be the best. So he told me, let's make it happen, and he did. Well, right on. Now, now, what do you know so far about uh, Jay Rock Williams? Uh, great at the fights has really been made official here over the last uh, 24 hours. What do you know about your opponent so far? Have you even started that early scouting yet? Uh, no, yeah. I've got my team. Um, he personally haven't got to scout him yet. I have my team, which is just uh, my dad, my, my head coach, and my younger brother is another one of my coaches. You know, uh, they are you know, around uh, figuring out little things that can work against my opponent. Uh, they're very smart, and they, they tell me in the past. So, the scouting has begun already. Um, I know, I know he's a smart fighter, you know, that's why he's very you know. Uh, he has a draw with one of, um, one of the guys that I used to train with, uh, who's uh, Francisco Santana. And, you know, I've gotten to work with Chia, oh, Santana a couple times, so, um, Maybe you give me a little more insight. I haven't, I haven't contacted him yet, but maybe you give me a little more insight on, uh, you know, what he does, what he portrays, what he brings to the table. Now, you had mentioned that, you know, that this is going to be on a big stage. Uh, you guys are pretty much are going to set the tone there uh, for that, that fight weekend with you guys having the first bout out um, right. there on television there on the 12th. Um, you know, what do you think you need to go, do to go out there and, you know, steal some of the spotlight from some of the, the bigger names that will be fighting later on that weekend uh, to help help further build and add to your buzz? Uh, you know, I just need to leave it all in the ring. It's like, uh, I know we're uh, getting ready to fight. It's going to be for a title. I'm not exactly sure which title. So we can put something on the line so this big fight means something. Um, so I need, to, uh, I need to just leave it all in the ring and take nothing home. Uh, make a statement. All right. Now we did talk to you here earlier this year in January, and since then you were able to go two and zero. You know, with the action you've been in here so far this year, what do you think is your? What would you give yourself on a report card for your performances so far here in the year two thousand thirteen? Uh, you know, honestly, I'm normally more consistent. Last year I did six fights. The year before that I did six fights. Uh, so I love to be a consistent fighter, and this year I feel like it's been a little slow for me. Uh, so I would rate myself. Being like a B, B plus, uh, I feel like my fight against Andre Leatherwood, he was fighting a big game, and you know I came to fight. In the little moments that I get, I did get to fight. Um, you know I heard him a couple times, and he tried to turn it into a wrestling match. Um, but I feel like it was a ugly fight. And then my more recent fight, you know, I had a first round knockout of 46 seconds. Yeah, we could definitely tell there that that second fight of the year that you took some of that frustration you might have had 
in the uh, in the other fight and just really went out and just obliterated your opponent real quick, made short work of it to kind of kind of leave any doubt that people said, oh, well, maybe he's not the, the prospect we think he is. No, nope, you pretty much killed that theory real quick with that first round knockout. Right, exactly. And, and that's how I felt. You know, I felt like it had been too long. It had been too long of a, of a layout for me. And um, I just wanted to show the, the doubters what I was about. Now this year you said you haven't, you know, been as active as you've, as you've liked to be in years previous. You know, what do you attest that to here this year so far being kind of a slow go and not as many fights? Yeah, it, 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 it's all different teams. You know, after my last fight with uh, Leatherwood, uh, I I didn't take a break. I started helping out uh, Canelo Alvarez to get ready for Austin Trout. And then um, we tried to get ready for another fight, but it fell through. And so we finally got to fight and pretty cool. And so I feel like that's the reason it was a little slow. Uh, I, but my goal for this year was four fights. So this is my third fight one this year. So I'm getting there. Okay. Now, speaking of Canelo, we're, we're asking everyone, and especially with you being a part of that weekend and, like I said, being able to kick off that extravaganza, how do you see the fight playing out between your man uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez and Floyd Money Mayweather? Uh, it's going to be tough. You know, I... Um Going into sparring with him, uh, I had a spar with a southpaw. Maybe that's why it was a little harder for me because I'm a, I'm a righty. But uh, I can I can fight a whole fight as a southpaw. Um, so it was a little hard for me to adjust that the first couple of days, maybe like the first week. But I underestimated how fast he was, and um, his counterpunch skills are a lot better than what I thought they were. Uh, also, his waist movement. But I feel if if he doesn't work a lot on his leg movement. I feel like um, it's going to be a long night for him. All right, well, right on. Well, again, we're here with Hugo, the boss, Centeno. You're going to be fighting here on September 12th at the MGM Grand on uh, Fox Sports 2, now kind of formerly known as Fuel TV. So, I mean, you're going to be on a big stage. Anybody you want to shout out? Anybody you want to thank here before we go? Uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to uh, my team, everyone who's helped me, all my supporters, all my fans, my followers. Um, I want to thank I want to thank you guys. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, and I'm gonna to continue to work hard to make all you guys proud. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we will definitely see you out there that weekend again, September 12th, Fox Sports 2. You're gonna be taking on Julian J. Rock Williams. Best of luck, best of health, and training camp. And I'll see you out there in Vegas personally that weekend, my man. Thank you. I really appreciate that. All right, man. You take it easy. Uh, you too, man. Have a birthday. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye.